Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com and this is another episode of the Ask PTL show. This is actually episode number 26 and today we're going to be answering a question from one of our viewers here on the show and she has a question about pharmacy technician math. So we're going to go through uh, some different concepts that can help you out when studying for pharmacy technician math and that can make sure that you're headed in the right direction when studying, okay? But first, first, I wanna make sure I have the name right. I want to give a shout out to Erica. She was one of our pharmacy technician students in the program at pharmacytechlessons.com and Erica just recently passed the pharmacy technician exam. So I wanna say congratulations to her and we were so delighted to have you in the program, so delighted. I remember seeing your name quite a bit in the private group. And so Erica, I just wanted to say congratulations to you. Let's see, we have some messages coming in here. But Erica, I just wanted to say congratulations to you. And um, yeah, of course you're in the private group, so let us know how we can help you with job searches, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna go on and take a question. It's from Taisha. So Taisha basically asked, what math do I need to know for the exam? Okay, so this is a very straightforward question, but I don't think I've answered it as straightforward here in the past episodes on the show, so I'm gonna answer it today. So this is basically in a nutshell, okay? So this is not everything in its totality, but it's basically in a nutshell, everything that you need to know to uh, pass the math portion of the exam. So you have calculations, okay? And specifically dosage calculations, okay? The next thing is, and write this down, allegations, okay? We have a video here, really that covers all of these topics, but we have a specific video here on the channel that every pharmacy technician in training seems to love, and it's on the allegations where we break that concept down for you. Um, also, basic algebra. Okay, so uh, college algebra, or if you took algebra in high school, you're going to need to know basic algebra, literally like the basic functions. So adding, subtraction, addition, I'm sorry, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You're going to need to know those basic uh, forms of math. And also you need to know how to find variables. And we teach that in the program as well, because as we know, Every single student that we get is not as adept in basic algebra. So we actually go through that portion as well in the program. Uh, let's see, you need to know conversions. Okay, so how to convert uh, between uh, milliliters, uh, decaliters, uh, how to convert even between household measurements. Okay, um, another thing that you need to know, and this is something that we teach and we really drill in the program is word problems, okay? You need to know how to uh, decipher through word problems, what to pull out, what to keep in, what you're looking for, what answers you need. You need a technique and a strategy, which we do provide in the program on how to literally work any word problem that gets thrown at you on the PTCB exam. And so that's just, a basic overview of the math that you need to know. Now, of course, there are more specific calculating temperature, uh, body weight, all those different elements and formulas that you may perhaps need. But in a basic nutshell, that's the meat of what you need to know when it comes to pharmacy technician math. So I'm going to go ahead and go here to the chat. We have Harriet. Hi Harriet, how are you? Let's see, Miriam, hello. Hi Miriam. Let's see, we got uh, Gummy Bear. Gummy Bear, how are you? <laughs> okay, do you all have any questions for this day's episode? If not, uh, I'll give you a little bit to go ahead and send it in. I just wanna share like today was such an amazing day. Uh, Pharmacy Tech Lessons went and spoke with a bunch of students, like literally hundreds of students today about the pharmacy technician field. And so I really want to give a quick shout out to Thurgood Marshall High School and the staff that are there for inviting us and allowing us the opportunity to speak there. I also want to uh, give a shout out to David. Thank you so much for having us tag along. 
uh, with the school. And also, I want to say, if you also have questions about just being a pharmacy technician in general, um, the field, the income, I mean, it's really a great field. And if you didn't know, it's growing by 9% right now. Uh, but if you have general questions like that as well, send them all in. We want to make sure that we cover all the questions that you have here on the show and that no one is missed, okay? So let's see what we have here. All right, so looks like everyone's just saying hi and we don't really have any questions. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you're still studying to pass the exam and you haven't passed it yet, then make sure you get in the program at PharmacyTechLessons.com. I'm going to leave a link here for you guys in the comments or in the chat rather. And you all can take it here. Let's see. We have Tanya. Tanya said, Onisha, I text you. Whew, Tanya, I have so many. I was about to say text messages. Okay, then you said I emailed you. I was about to say I have so many text messages. It's crazy, but I'm going to get to those by the end of the day. Uh, you emailed yesterday. Okay, Tanya, I'm going to check in on that, okay, to see what was it in regards to and what we need to cover for you. I'm going to actually check in with it, check in with the team to see what got emailed. Uh, from you on yesterday but okay guys if there are no more questions here for this episode then I'm going to go ahead and close it down you all have a great day and thank you for tuning in to today's episode this has been Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com happy studies and have a great night bye-bye